I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Rolle's Theorem application. The very first question here is verify Rolle's Theorem for the function f of x equals to square root of 9 minus x squared on the closed interval minus 3 to 3. Now whenever we say verify Rolle's Theorem, we need to verify three things. First is that the function is continuous within the given closed interval, right? So that is the first thing. You need to prove that it is continuous in the closed interval. So whatever is given, in our case, the closed interval is from minus 3 to 3. Second thing which you need to prove is that the function is differentiable. But differentiable in open interval. So it may be not differentiable on the ends, right? So differentiable in the open interval from, in this case, minus 3 to 3, right? And the third thing which you need to verify is that the value of the function at the two points, the end points is same. That is f of minus 3 is equal to f of 3, right? Now these three things you need to verify. Once you verify that, then the Rolle's theorem states that there exists a real number. So we'll call that real number as C, right? So C, where C, C belongs to this interval, the open interval, in this case, it'd be minus three to three, such that F dash, the derivative of the function at C is equal to zero. So that is what the Rolle's theorem is, right? So I hope the points are absolutely clear. Now let's try to verify it one by one. So we are given the function f of x, which is equal to square root of 9 minus x squared, right? Now this function is actually a semicircle, right? If you sketch this function, this is how it is going to look. Well, from the sketch, you actually get the answer easily, right? So it's a semicircle. These are the two endpoints, minus 3 and 3, okay? So we can see it is continuous. So f of x, the function, is continuous. in the closed interval from minus 3 to 3, correct? The value of the function at minus 3 is what? If I substitute minus 3 here, I get 9 minus minus 3 squared, and I get the value 0. The value of the function at 3 is also 0, right? 9 minus 3 squared is 0. So those are the two zeros and the endpoints of the function, right? So so we have shown that the function is continuous, the function has the same values, and since it is a smooth curve in between, it is also differentiable, but it's a good idea to find the derivative, right? So, so to prove the second point, let's find the derivative. And once we find the derivative, we can also find the point where the derivative is zero. So that's why I kind of left it uh, as the third point, right? So, so the function for us is given as f of x is equal to square root of 9 minus x squared. The derivative of this function is equal to, so that is to the power of half, so half times 9 minus x squared to the power of minus half times the derivative of inside function, which is minus 2x. Correct? So that becomes the derivative of the function. Now this 2 and 2 cancel. So we could simplify this and write the derivative of the function as equal to 
minus of x over square root of 9 minus x square square root. Now, as you can see, in the open interval, which is from minus 3 to 3, it is differentiable, right? So, so in this interval, it is differentiable, perfect. So, we say from here, that is the derivative or equation, and from the equation, we know it is differentiable. in interval minus 3 to 3, right? So, open interval, correct? Now, let's figure out where is the derivative 0, right? So, we need to now figure out where the derivative is 0. So, if I equate this to 0, what do I get? I get minus x over square root of 9 minus x squared. And solving this, we get at x equals to 0. So, right, so what we get from here is that c is equal to 0, right? So, the derivative of the function at 0 is indeed 0, right? So, we got a point in between where the derivative is 0, right? So, that is how we are verifying Rolle's theorem that in case we have a function within a closed interval, the function is continuous and differentiable within continuous within the closed interval, differentiable between the open interval. In that case, there exists a real number c. In this case, it is x equals to 0, such that the derivative at that point is 0. So, I hope that's absolutely clear. So, these are critical steps to be included in your statements or in your solution to verify Rolle's theorem. I hope that is clear. Thanks for watching and all the best. I'll take up uh, many applications of Rolle's theorem in my playlist. Feel free to check the playlist for other applications. Thanks a lot and all the best.